Hello, 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 hello. Today we're talking about trapezoids. Now, trapezoids are different from parallelograms, but there's a lot of similarities. You just have to remember stuff about diagonals uh, not being the same. And it's kind of like op opposite, more opposite things going on. We'll see if any of that applies here. Uh, we've got ourselves a table tray, a lunch tray, to save space on a square table, cafeteria trays are often incorporated trapezoids into their design. Who would have known? Uh, there's WXYZ. Uh, the measure of angle YZW is 45. Now, this is clearly not drawn to scale because this whole angle right here is 45 degrees. Super not drawn to scale at all. While we're at it, that's going to make that angle 45 degrees. And we'll deal with the other angles when we have to deal with it, if we have to deal it with it, which we will. WV is 15. Uh, VY is 10. All right. Okay. Let's change colors here. Uh, black. All right. The measure of angle XWZ. XWZ, I already did that. That's 45. When you have an isosceles... Um, uh, trapezoid, which is what we have here. We have an isosceles trapezoid. The base angles are exactly the same. So that's what's going on here. All right. Now what's going to go on for B is we need to find uh, WXY, which is this angle right here. Now this is a trapezoid. All trapezoids add up to 360. XY uh, or X, angle X and angle Y here are exactly the same. So if I want to call you X for now, this is going to be X2. I'm just picking X. I could have used A if I wanted to. X, X, 45, and 45 add up to 360 degrees. So I have X plus X plus 45 plus 45, which I'm going to do a little bit of hand waving and say that that's 90. is going to equal 360 degrees. Okay. I'm going to subtract 90 from both sides. It's going to give me 270. And this is x plus x, which is two x's. So two x equals two seventy. Divide by two. Divide by two. You get one thirty-five. All right. So this guy is a hundred and thirty-five degrees. Now, in an isosceles trapezoid, all right, the two angles, the two diagonals, rather, uh, are congruent if it's isosceles. Now, that doesn't mean they bisect each other. There's nothing like that going on. However, whatever this side is, is going to be the same as that side. So this side is going to be 15. Similarly, whatever this side is, is going to be the same as that side. So that is going to be 10. So let's see if that helps us. XZ is this whole thing, which is 10 plus 15, which is 25. Makes sense because if the uh, diagonals are congruent, this guy we were given 15 and 10, which is 25. So this guy's also going to be 15 and 10, which is 25. And then we have XV, which is 10. I'm right there. So not a fan of this problem because it's not drawn to scale at all, but this isosceles trapezoid didn't want me to be a fan. Otherwise it would have catered to me a little bit more and it clearly did not. And that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Bye. <laughs>